Hello everyone, so today I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing the free colour pencil squishy challenge and basically what that means is I have to choose three coloured pencils and then I have to create a paper squishy only using those three colours so yeah I'm a little bit nervous but also quite excited to do it and I'm not really sure who created this challenge, so if you do know, please comment it down below. And also, this is a collab with Crystal Mochi, and she is also going to be doing this challenge, and I'm really excited to see what she creates. So, once you're done watching my video, please go and watch her video, I will link it in the description box below. And also please go and subscribe to her channel, I'll also link that below because she's a really sweet girl. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so first what I have to do is I have to pick three pencils from this pot. And I ended up placing them in here because before they were just in a pencil case and I thought this would make it just more like, easier, I guess. And I also made sure to take out any colours that were in here more than once so that way it's as fair as possible. So none of these colours are the same. So now I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm going to pick three coloured pencils randomly. So here we go. So I'm just going to mix them up a bit. And here's my first one. Second colour. And my third colour. And the three colours I have are red, pink and blue. So yeah, let's get started. So next what I did was I just folded a piece of A4 paper in half like this and then I just drew the outline of the squishy onto one side of the paper just using a pencil and I decided to do a seashell and I was actually inspired by my seashell pencil sharpener and also my shell pencil holder over here and I ended up drawing this off camera because it was actually quite difficult to draw out but I think it looks pretty good I might have to fix it slightly So that's what it looks like so far. So now I'm going to move on to the next step. So next what I did was I just drew the lines onto the seashell just very lightly using my pencil and again I just used my pencil sharpener as reference and I think it's turning out pretty good so far. 
So now what I have to do is I have to colour it in using just these three pencils that I chose earlier. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Here's what it looks like once I've finished colouring it in. So basically what I decided to do was I decided to create almost like a gradient sort of effect just using my pink and blue pencil. And I did try to blend the colours together but it didn't really work out that good since it is still quite scratchy it's because the pencils I'm using aren't really the best quality but anyways I still really like how the pink and blue looks together and then what I did was I just went over all of the lines just using my red colouring pencil since I wasn't really sure what else to do with the red so yeah <laughs> but I think it looks pretty good so yeah even though the blending didn't turn out the best I'm still quite happy with it So now I'm just going to continue with this and then I will show you the final thing. So here is what the final squishy looks like. And I decided not to film me making the rest of it because this isn't a tutorial and also I didn't want the video to be too long. And I'm pretty happy with how this turned out and again I especially like how the colours look together. And then for the back it's not really interesting, I decided to just colour it blue. And this time I decided to use pieces of foam for the filling because most of the time I just use cotton balls and that ends up making the squishy quite hard. So I decided to use foam this time and it is definitely a lot easier to squish. You can probably also hear the, he the air coming out. <laughs> And 
and again I know it does look quite rough but I tried my best and it has a little slow rise to it it's not really that slow rising So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and again please don't forget to go and watch Crystal Mochi's video, I'll have it linked in the description box below and also please go and subscribe to her channel and again thank you so much Crystal Mochi for collaborating with me, this is definitely quite a fun challenge to do. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!